Someone you're no stranger to, Lars. Fun fact, Dark Sheik. Whoa! Dark Sheik with the manager of champions, Pollo Del Mar. I was going to put over Dark Sheik for a moment, but holy shit. And before anybody gets it twisted, you know who gave Pollo Del Mar the name, the manager of champions? Bill fucking Alfonso. Fonzie. Yes. So to everyone that takes exception to Pollo's status, don't question it. It's as legit as it gets. And Dark Sheik, as you know, Lars, yes. is as real as it gets. Because the very first time there was ever a Hood Slam we're show, the first. commentary team was you and I. That's right. By the manager of champions, Polo Del Mar, fighting out of Oakland, California. She is the mother of the house of Hood Slam, the high priestess of the church of wrestling. This is Dark Sheik! Talk about a Bay Area original that's taken it to the world stage. When you think Oakland, you think the Oakland Raiders, you think the Oakland A's. Today's world, you think of the Dark Sheik. 100%. Oakland, Iran, as I like to point out, the birthplace of professional wrestling. The birthplace of wrestling in all grapple-based sports was Oakland, Iran. That's right. That's correct. But Lars, when you hear the sound of Protovision fill the air, it heralds the arrival oh of the God. bad boy. Oh, and it's a whole new bad boy, Lars. I hate this guy, Kevin. I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to play it right down the line. I know I'm supposed to be just an equal member here and just tell it like it is and not take sides with Kevin Gill. Joey Janela grinds my gears. And I can understand why. I mean... Here's a fan just bought a ticket enjoying the show, and Joey Janela's in his face. What Joey Janela did to Sean X. Pac Walton is disgusting. Hey, I feel like I'm watching a bad version of a narcissist. Barry Park, New Jersey, with an official weight of 200 pounds, he is the bad boy, Joey Janela. The bad boy Joey Janela is here on a quest. He feels he doesn't get enough credit. He doesn't get enough adulation. Well, he's full of himself, Kevin. He's certainly full of himself. He is a narcissist without a doubt. Oh, what the fuck? Going after Polio. That's fucking uncalled for. Janela and Dark Sheik with Lars and KG on the call. This is a fucking treat and a half. Dark Sheik about to kick those vipers right off the head of Janela. There they go. More like blue blockers, this kid. <laughs> Joey Janela was the one, arguably the most beloved person in independent wrestling. He was loved so much. He was hated too, but the love was so strong it transcended. It brought him to television. It brought him all over the world. And now he's just a whole different person, a whole different side of Joey. Maybe some say the real side of Joey. Dark Sheik killed the world. DDT getting a little payback, bringing it Oakland, Oakland style, victory warehouse style in effect. That's right. From the high priestess of the Church of Wrestling, and with Pollo Del Mar, the manager of champions, by her side, anything is possible. Coming up from the rat-infested concrete floors of Oakland, California, when you're messing with the Dark Sheik. You can't come in with your blue blockers. No, that you it's going to be an easy night. Joey Janela can ask Dark Sheik for flowers, but the only flowers Dark Sheik is going to give you, Joey Janela, are going to go on your grave. That's right. Along with a pint of piss. And let's not forget, uh, Joey Janela put hands on Pollo Del Mar. Uh, that was on call for. I mean, how do you expect somebody to, to defend themselves in those heels? Pollo Del Mar did not physically interject themselves into the match in any way. It was the introductions, for God's sake. I know. This is what, what kind of man Joey Janela is. He's barely human. Joey Janela is scum. Scum of the earth. Big suplex off the top rope. Oh, come on. Mocking Sean Waltman. Janela can barely even stand. What a disgrace Joey Janela is. Well, the crowd is very displeased. And they should be. 
Joey Janela was someone they backed, they believed in, they loved the guy. Including myself, KG. Yeah. Including myself. But it's all changed. It's brought out a viciousness in Joey without a doubt. You can see the intensity has been turned up a lot. He really feels like he has a chip on his shoulder. And Joey Janela is in worldwide demand. His schedule, I think you're going to be seeing Joey Janela all over the world in the next, next several weeks. Well, as vicious as he is, if you're going to be that vicious, you're empty inside, KG. Yeah, and you're, he's trying to fill that vessel. He is trying to fill that void with violence. And it's fleeting. To me, you're going to get a, a pool of violence at the bottom, but you're never going to be f full of violence, truly, and feel fulfilled. But that's something Joey's going to have to find out on his own. What an asshole. All this comes back to you, Joey Janela. Look at that smile that he has. It's almost as if he's enjoying blocking that cro what is it, carotid? What the hell? The artery? I yeah, that carotid <laughs> artery. <laughs> Applying pressure to it. Dark Sheik things could be growing dim for her right now. The lights starting to dim as the crowd starts to come alive for Dark Sheik. Even working into a bridge pattern there for a moment to alleviate the pressure, turn it into a pinning position and brilliantly forced Janela to release the hold. Janela had two choices, lose by pinfall or release the hold. Well, whether you love him or hate him, Joey Janela. I mean, he's a ring veteran. Yeah, he and certainly is. In there. Former co-holder of the Game Changer Tag Team Championships with Sean Waltman. Joey's just become toxic. And again, I, I think Joey Janela deserves a lot of credit. I think Joey Janela gets a lot of credit. But there's a disparity in Joey's mind and he's going to take it out on a lot of people until he feels whole again. Dark Sheik making a little comeback here. Yeah, but Dark Sheik isn't here for therapy. Dark Sheik's not here to help. Dark Sheik is here to hurt. Oh, oh. Janela caught the Dark Sheik and just plants her. The irony is in real life, Dark Sheik would love to help out Joey Janela outside the ring to help him deal with this issue, but you know what I'm saying? Joey Janela's not caring a fuck about anything right now besides himself. Wow, wow. <laughs> Janela gets Dark Sheik up in a fireman's carry position on the apron, but Dark Sheik desperation tactics. Dark Sheik lands the kick. Here we go. Oh, slice bread number two on that steel ring frame. The hardest part of the ring, Kev, as everybody knows. It's a fact. It's been well documented. But Dark Sheik took that ride all the way to the concrete floor. And Pollo Del Mar into check on the condition of Dark Sheik. Let's take another look. Dark Sheik with the springboard. Catches. Slice bread number two. And Dark Sheik had a rough landing as well. Fans love Dark Sheik. It's not just a San Francisco thing or an Oakland thing. It's everywhere Game Changer Wrestling goes. This is real. Hashtag GCW Devil. Dark Sheik on her way Whoa. to victory. Huge Oakland jam from the top. Two. That was better than Rice Aroni, <laughs> as they say. Yes. The San Francisco treat. The true San Francisco treat is Dark Sheik dropping oh. via Oakland. Yeah, 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 of course. The trains all run, you know, it's all connected. The Bay Area united as one. Dark Sheik taking a moment. She's looking for an object of some sort. Oh, the chair. One chair in. This seems to be a running theme tonight. Indeed, just unlimited chairs under the ring. They just magically appear. They grow like mushrooms in the dark under the ring. 
I think now we're both on hallucinogens. <laughs> it's happening. It's, it's, all it. the, it's all the dust off the <laughs> yeah, doors. Yes. Where have those doors been kept? Crypt, keep, Crypt Keeper's attic called. They want their doors back. <laughs> she's got two doors in there, Kev. There's something big she's planning. She wants to hurt Joey Janela. I'm telling you that much. And I feel like she's entitled to hurting oh. Joey Janela. But Joey Janela is way too smart. You can't give him that much time to regroup. Absolutely not. He's got ten game plans. They are running through his head at all times. His pain tolerance is incredible. He's always ten steps ahead. With a Randy the Ram on acid sort of offensive game plan here. You never know what the fuck Joey Janela is going to come at you with. Dark Sheik. Back and forth exchange of leverage pinfalls. Oh, man. Did you see Janela? Uh, bounced right off his head, KG. Oh, my God. Boyo Del Mar leading the fans in their adulation. Well deserved of Dark Sheik. Oh. Janela threw that lariat. Drop Sheik. Mustered up all of what he had to get get it back going in his favor. This is better than hockey. Amen. All fighting and no no scoring. <laughs> well, maybe later. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We can, we can contact Uncle Dave for some scoring. <laughs> Referee Sparky Ballard, another Bay Area OG. I'm not. I don't necessarily know if I like Sparky with long hair. Just gonna say it on record. I believe uh, I believe Brutus the Barber Beefcake legit cut his hair the last time when you know, and then his hair stayed short for all those years. I think that was from a Brutus oh. the Beefcake haircut, but it finally wore off. Gotcha. But it stayed in effect for at least like five years. I mean, Sparky's one of the best in the biz as far as ring and ring ring commanders. Absolutely. Oh come on, oh, Joey. Oh come on, Joey. Just stop with that. Got kids watching at home. Gotta focus on the match, Joey. Yeah, you need to watch your language too, Kev. I'm, damn, you know. You get offended? No. I might be. You might be? Are you feeling Yes, hurt? I'm, my feelings are hurt. You're invading my safe space. I know you abstain from <laughs> swearing in your personal, I fucking do. personal life. <laughs> oh, the crowd. Thought this yeah, was a family exactly. environment. The crowd needs to slow their roll. <laughs> Why can't they say we're just pleased with you, Joey? <laughs> We take extreme exception to we're, your actions. We're displeased with you, Joey. Displeased. Wait a sec. Pollo Del Mar's up on the oh. apron. Payback can be a bitch. Payback can be a bastard. Payback can come in the form of Pollo Del Mar. Joey Janela stunned like a deer in the headlights. What in the world? Oh. Whoa. Punched Pollo Del Mar right in the mouth. Oh. This is messed up. Oh. Pollo Damar is a manager. Dark Sheik and Pollo Damar stacked up on the top rope, Lars. Wait a second. Janelle is kissing Pollo Damar. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 by Del Mar. A kiss followed by a power bomb. The manager of champions. Who knew that she had it in her? Poyo's not done. Or is she? Are we seeing a career change right before our eyes? Wait a minute. Oh. Coast to coast, baby. Unreal. Dark Sheep nailed it. Two. How is Joey Janela still in this fight? Well, I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to say it. You got to hook the damn leg. And if you're wrestling Joey Janela, you got to do more than that. Amen. Dark Sheet getting vicious now. Dark Sheet, such an encyclopedic knowledge of wrestling, can hurt you in so many ways. And I was about to praise her wrestling virtues, but she's back with the weapon usage. 
And why not? You do what's effective and you do what, what it's, what's called for. Well, you can see it in her eyes. The adrenaline's pumping. After the beating that Janelle has been giving her, maybe not all the faculties are there. Amen. You, you know? just see red at a certain point. You just see rage. And it's so well-deserved, but Joey needs a karmic cleansing. Joey needs... And Dark Sheik might be the person that does that. Dark Sheik can bring it. She's the high priestess from the Church of I, Wrestling. I mean, come on. The mother brain certainly can figure out a way to right this imbalance in, in Joey's soul. Oh! And those plastic... Oh, Jesus Christ. No give with those plastic chairs. Just smacking the face of Dark Sheik. Where's Janela going? Oh. Janela's on the stage. Look out. Clear the lane. Look at this camera work. Dark Sheik's got to get out of San Francisco. Here comes Janela! Oh, my God. That's got to be the independent camera work of the year. Joey Janela, a mastermind of placement, finding the exact spot in the venue where he would have the longest build time. He accelerates like a fucking ninja, Kawasaki ninja motorcycle. And he brought all of it upon himself. The force that... Look at this. Unbelievable. Oh. The execution of Janela captured perfectly. Dark Sheik in great peril, in grave danger. Janela, an absolute madman, but Dark Sheik, a firebrand. Here we go. Only too large. Dark Sheik won't quit. All heart. All heart. And when you're from Oakland, you're all heart. Dark Sheik is giving her equivalent of the I'm sorry, I love you, which is the gig sign. Janella gets her up oh. and brutal pile driver. One, two. Dark Sheik still in this. Janela's pulling out everything but the kitchen sink. He's getting frustrated right now. And keep in mind, Janela's taking a hell of a beating here. He's trying to end it and end it quick. Janela perched up high, oh. double stop through the steel chair. Dark Sheik in agony on the canvas. She's done. She's not. She's not done. I can't believe the determination of Dark Sheik. Joey, Ro Joey Janela has no idea what his karma has unleashed, what it has bestowed. Janela, an absolute narcissistic bastard. Well, when you're that self-consumed, you're going to underestimate people. And sometimes you're going to underestimate the wrong people. And the size of the fight in the Dark Sheik is enormous. As Indeed. we've seen over the years, KG, oh, many times. you cannot count her out. Never. Whoa. Whoa. Punch to the dick. Nailed it. He can't be hurting that much. Perfect execution. Pinpoint execution. <laughs> Literally. Janela at the last possible moment. Kicks out of that bridging suplex. Janela holding on for dear life here. Dark Sheik to get a win of this magnitude here in San Francisco I know would mean a lot to her. And Janela obviously wants to take no L's on his road to flowers, on his road to self-based martyrdom or whatever you want to call this road he's going down. But Dark Sheik has the people. Joey Chinette, I guess if it was still there. Might have got punched right off. Oh. Sheik and Janela exchanging strikes in the center of the ring. Sheik's got a little more power behind her shots. But Janela's still bringing it. Almost smiling as he does it. Janelle is a maniac. He loves the pain. He loves the reaction, good or bad. Look at these two. Neither will quit, but Dark Sheik taking over. Combo a flurry. Oh. But in that moment, 
the dark cheek was calibrating the final exclamation point. Janela struck like a thief in the night, but he could not get it done. She's still here, Lars. She's still sincere after all these fucking years, and Dark Sheik wants that victory. He doesn't know what else he can do. Janela is baffled. So as we found out, what does Joey Janela do when he's baffled? He looks under the ring for something to brutally harm you with. I don't know if there's anything left under there. You know. Oh, there's a few chairs. And Janela should pay heed. The manager of champions, Pollo Del Mar, still patrolling that ringside area. Kick to the mouth. Dark Sheik in trouble, but Dark Sheik recuperative ability second to none. Every second that Dark Sheik is on that mat. It's another moment of recovery, but damn, Janela. Even worse, you can see how that chair struck Dark Sheik right on the point of the elbow and the forearm. Janela building a shrine of violence, a three-sided credenza, if you will. But for what end, Lars Fredrickson? Janela has Dark Sheik in serious trouble here. It's do or die time for Dark Sheik. Sheik and Janela exchanging. Sheik's taking over, Lars. Dark Sheik. Wait a second. Dark Sheik locked those hands. Oh, oh my God. Janela. His head's caught in between. Janela's broken in half. Janela's oh my God. done. Dark Sheik has shocked the world. Holy shit! The winner of the match, Dark What a moment for this wrestling pioneer, the Dark Sheik, with the biggest victory of her career. Congratulations to oh the Dark God. Sheik, the manager of champions, Pollo Del Mar. History has been made in San Francisco, California. Dark Sheik triumphs over the bad boy. Uh, the breath, the literal breath was taken from me, KG. Wow. What a warrior. What a goddess. Dark Sheik. Unfuck with a bull. Amazing. Amazing. What a showing. For Dark Sheik, and let's take a look, Lars, how it ended up. Janela set up those chairs, but it was to his own doom. Cause Sheik hooked him up and dropped him hard. And look how his body is right there. Oh, it's hard to even walk. look at how he's folded up. Leverage pinfall. Dark Sheik makes history. Huge, huge victory over the bad boy Joey Janela. The manager of champions has got to feel proud of the Dark Sheik.